I'm not entirely sure that they should be. You know, the euro has strengthened for all the right reasons. It's down to strengthening growth. It's down to um, a much better fiscal path ahead, given the EU fiscal recovery fund, and also a relatively better managed COVID crisis at the moment. So I think it's rising for all the right reasons. At this level, at 120, it shouldn't worry them too much. But of course, if it does continue to strengthen, uh, it will be more of a worry than um, if we look at what the impact on exports would be. What is your call then on the euro? Where do you see it by year end and as we move into 2021? You know, it's difficult to say. I think, you know, we have to look at what the other side of the equation is, so the dollar as well. Um, certainly from our perspective, the, 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 the weight on the dollar is, is still ongoing. So in that case, you know, you're having from both sides very fundamental um, pressures. So I think a kind of a 123, 124 is not completely out of question. And the other thing to consider is that there's really not much that the ECB can do to weaken the euro as well. So it's, it's a juggernaut at the moment. It can't be stopped.